Ask Reddit by Shamab4. What do you think is the worst disease illness of all time? It's subjective for sure but it's dementia for me. Watched my friend's mom go over 20 years with it. Some long drawn out torture I can tell you. And it wasn't just torture for her. Their whole family. My sister, 54 now, has dementia from early onset Alzheimer's and I agree it is terrible. I didn't understand how terrible until it happened. I knew it was bad because you lost your memory, but your brain eventually forgets how to do everything. Even then, your body seems to hold on way too long. Like any time you have a relative get a disease, it got me thinking about my likelihood. I'm around the age where she started having symptoms, apologies in advance if this triggers anyone, but it really has me thinking if I would get to the point where I decide to end it all while in the later stages of still being functional. Fatal familial insomnia, a prion disorder, you completely lose the ability to sleep over the course of a year, in which you go completely insane, become a vegetable, and then die. There is no treatment. Damn. I've never heard of this. That's awful. ALS. It doesn't affect your mind, but you are trapped in a body you can't control. My lung transplant donor had this, she fell and passed away from her injuries. I've tried my best to make something beautiful out of her gift given to me by something so terrible. Rabies for me. It affects multiple species causes the host to lose their mind and dying of dehydration because it causes hydrophobia sounds like such a horrible way to go out. This is why those videos of people playing with wild animals scare the crap out of me. OMG, I found this fox skunk raccoon beaver and it's not scared of me at all. How cool it like dude that's not cute there's something very wrong here. Huntington's disease. Second this. Watching someone you love deteriorating from Huntington's whilst simultaneously afraid that you also may have the gene is horrific. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Prions. If more people knew the facts about prions they'd lose their minds. How the heck do they even exist? Something no one could have made up, an impossible thing. San Filippo syndrome or childhood dementia. Devastating truly. San Filippo, Battens, Juvenile Onset Huntingtons, I hope we can get the cures formulated and approved soon. Med resistant schizo affective disorder is up there. I watched way too many clients struggle with that and it still bothers me. Especially the young ones, knowing they will never be able to live on their own, hold a job, have a partner, most won't even have friends. Adding schizophrenia and bipolar to the list. Schizophrenia is the worst of them. Locked in syndrome. I was scrolling to find this. Radiation poisoning by heavy dosage. Not to say that light dosage radiation poisoning isn't terrible, but the heavier it gets the more horrifying and agonizing the death. Like radium jaw. Over time? Malaria. This is because it is just consistently taking bodies. When it breaks out. Bubonic plague. It made civilizations and entire societies crumble multiple times. I think smallpox might have claimed more lives than malaria. Cancer. Yep watched my dad suffer and amp. Die from it. I felt bad for him but he fought and amp. Stuck around as long as he could. I know that part of the reason he lived longer, it was terminal. BC he had such a strong mindset. Even in hospice he said he was going to get better and amp, get out. He's the strongest man I knew. I'll always admire his drive and amp, ambition. He took on every challenge life threw at him and amp, tried to make the best of it. He was such a fighter. ALS being trapped inside your body with a perfectly intact mind is terrifying. More commonly called Lou Gehrig's disease. Scleroderma. It manifests differently in everyone, and in my mom, it went to her lungs and turned into pulmonary fibrosis. She basically took several years to suffocate to death. 
she was on 15 L of oxygen per hour by the end of her life. It was horrific to watch. R.I.P. Mama. I saw an 20 stroke 20 like article years ago about this disease and it scared me. The woman they covered was locked into her body. I know Bob Saget's sister also had it. Her case was the other case I heard about. My condolences to you and your family. Pancreatic cancer took my dad at 56. Never drank or smoked. Excruciating pain, but at least he still knew who all the family were before he rapidly passed in 5 MTHS from time of diagnosis 5 kids. Oldest 34, youngest 14. Fractured the family. I lost an aunt from this cancer. Of all the cancers, this is the one that scares me. This is super subjective. Mental anguish factor, dementia, physical nightmare, Ebola. Anything resulting in locked in syndrome. The one way your body slowly turns to bone and at shine stage you have to decide whether you sit or stand for the rest of your life. I could never choose sleeping would be crap if you ossified in a sitting position. Fop, fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, sometimes also called the human statue disease. Pontine glioma. It's type of cancer that affects kids and teenagers, that grows very rapidly in the brainstem. It's always fatal, usually killing the patient less than a year after it's diagnosed. For me it's psoriasis, I have it all over my body. Medication does not help and I can't really sleep, I don't wanna go outside, if I use makeup it gets even worse, it's a vicious circle. Any kind of prion disease. 100% kill rate, every single time. Huntington's disease, neurodegenerative disorder motor function, mental illness and cognitive function all implicated in the illness inherited so if your parent has it you have a 50% chance of developing the condition. Yeah, and unless they have their genes screened, you parents may not even know they have it. The disease usually manifests first when patients are around 40 years of age, by which time they will already have had their children. Lupus Cystic fibrosis. Not being able to breathe and struggling to cough out the excess sticky mucus. When I was a kid, this was a death sentence. People rarely lived beyond 16. Now some live a long time, and some even get lung transplants. Modern science is amazing. Rabies. It turns you into a fucking zombie and the survival rate is close to zero. The closet disease that's to a zombie virus viral, 